Hello, buddy, it's Angel here, and welcome to my unboxing review of the Figma Kazuma Sato from Konosuma. Oh my god, I got this figure for an amazing deal off eBay. I got him for a really, really good deal. Well, not like a really, really good deal. I still paid pretty good over retail for him, but actually not anywhere near as much as his aftermarket goes for. He is pre-owned, so he has been opened and he has been displayed, but the seller told me he's in basically perfect condition and that he includes all of his accessories. And I'm looking at him in the box, and yes, Everything is there, so I am really excited about this. He is pre-owned, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. And I'm so excited to add more Konosuba Figmas to my collection because I only had Aqua. So when I saw him for such a great deal, I jumped on it. I'm like, finally, more Konosuba Figmas, let's go. And the seller does have Darkness as well. So in a couple weeks, if Darkness is still there, I might grab her as well because I do want to get the whole gang because I love Konosuba. Who doesn't love Konosuba? So yeah, I'm super excited. I'm, I'm even more excited now because he looks like he's in perfect condition, man. Like, I was a little bit worried about this purchase because I was really I was really worried he was going to come and he was going to be all scratched up. But I'm looking at him in the box and he looks fantastic. And he's definitely not a bootleg. This box is 100% legit. Everything is here. The Katakawa licensing, 425 Figma, Kazuma action figures right there, Max Factory. Everything is here on the side. A beautiful box, a picture of him, all of the obligatory product shots. Every single detail is perfectly in the Figma thing. Absolutely no signs that this is a knockoff whatsoever. In fact, I don't even think there are any knockoffs of the Konosuba Figma. I have haven't really seen any, but real quick before we get him out of the box, I do want to show him with the aqua box right here so you can see. <laughs> A plus Figma. I love it. I love it. This is the side that I always put them in the shelf too. So I'm so happy that this is the picture we get to see. <laughs> They're like running away from the giant toad. That's amazing. But yeah, awesome to have both of these. Oh, I'm so excited. This Figma looks so awesome, man. I can't wait. Let's just jump into it. All right. So since he's pre-owned, I'm going to go ahead and just open him on camera here. Oh. The, no, okay, it's not okay. Um, I wanted, I want you guys to see me um, open, open him on camera here, just so you can get my first reactions of me picking him up and being like, what condition he's in, and you know all that stuff. So here we go, and you know, if he's a bootleg, I'm gonna be pissed. Alrighty, here we go. Skaboodle. Okay. Please no floppy joints. Please no floppy joints. Please no floppy joints. Oh, oh. If it's a bootleg, it's a like god tier bootleg. Oh my goodness. Alrighty, here he is out of the box, and definitely not a bootleg, I can tell you that for sure. These joints are way too nice and tight and smooth for him to be a bootleg, and first impressions right off the bat are excellent. He feels just as great as Aqua, maybe even a little bit better, because Aqua does have a bit of a loose torso joint, so... And he definitely does not. This is a nice, tight uh, torso joint. His neck might look a little bit long, but that's because he needs it. We have to get his cloak on him. So yeah, you know what? Let's just go ahead and get the cloak on him. Actually, maybe I should wait a little bit longer. We'll do it before we get to the accessories because I think the cloak is kind of mandatory to be on him. But yeah, let's take a look at the figure before we jump into the, uh, before we uh, bring in the cloak. So here is our head sculpt and the likeness to Kazuma looks absolutely fantastic. The nice green eyes right there. Yeah, the hair looks absolutely excellent. There looks to be like a little bit of a dent right there. No big deal though. You can't really even see it that much. It is pre-owned and like I said, I did get it for a massive, uh, for a, a quite a large sum of money less than his normal aftermarket value. So I cannot be mad at a tiny little scuff right there. But yeah, there's the back of the port where we're going to put the stand. We have two ports right here. The arms look great in a nice, uh, in a nice gray right there. We have his belt where he holds his sheath for Chun Chun Maru. The most powerful weapon of all time. <laughs> and then we have his pants right there. Basic pants, but they're pants. And then you have his boots. I mean, his design isn't the craziest thing in the world, but hey, you know, <laughs> he's poor, he's broken, he's stuck with a bunch of useless hoes. <laughs> So yeah, but yeah, uh, honestly right off the bat really feeling him guys really really awesome Definitely not I don't have any issues with him being pre-owned like there's like this this person who had him before took excellent care of him Man, I think I'm giving this guy a very very positive review on eBay. So yeah Loving him so far. All right before we get into the accessories and the size comparisons Let's take a look at the articulation. Um, yeah the head you get a little bit of up a little bit of down You get a nice amount of tilt. Yeah, nothing nothing terrible the the upward is not the best you could probably bring no it, it's pretty hindered. The upward is pretty hindered, similar to Megumi from my last review, but not not too horrible. That's Megumi from Jujutsu Kaisen. You know this this motherfucker right here, this goat right here. So yeah, not Megumi. <laughs> Because it looks like I'm never gonna get that fucking Megamine for a decent price. And it's such a janky Figma, man. Like, I've seen all the reviews for that Megami Figma, and it looks so janky, and I don't wanna pay over. <laughs> I don't 
to pay the aftermarket for it. Oh, uh, maybe, hopefully, one day. Just re-release it. Come on, good smile. Just fucking re-release it. Kona Super Season 3 is coming. And Mega Me spin-off. Re-release the damn Mega Me Figma. I don't even care about the others, because I'm just gonna fucking get them by then. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, but, yeah, okay, uh, what was I saying? Articulation, sorry. So, yeah, uh, let's see if we have, we, okay, butterfly, not really any butterfly, but hey, it's not horrible, you still get really good movement forward, so, nothing too bad, yeah, you can probably still get just about, yeah, probably just about as much as you could possibly need. It is an older Figma, so maybe they weren't doing butterflies at this time. The hands are not limited at all by the, by the sculpt of the sleeve. They can still move all around, which is lovely. Nice torso joint right here. The legs, um, are a little bit hindered because of the diaper piece, but not horrible, and then, back pretty uh yeah pretty good as well and then you have the knees right there which get a little over a single bend right there and then you have his feet which are nice up and down and they have a forward facing pin for rocker so very beautiful and of course it's a figma so we get our included figma stand Ooh, that that's that's very loose let me tighten that up mm, there we go Ooh, this might be broken actually there was no word about this in the listing because this is very loose and it's not wanting to it's not wanting to tighten oh okay that might be bad yep i can't get this to tighten so that's unfortunate and eh, not the biggest deal though not a huge deal if that's the trade-off so be it it's not i mean it's not like you need to get kazuma in the air doing crazy poses man he just needs to be able to do kazuma things which is stand there and be weird and, <laughs> and scream <laughs> so we can just pop that in right there i think this is gonna be the better one because this one we're gonna use it for the um the cloak so we'll pop him into this one right here so there we go um there we go goes right in beautiful and there we go. Yeah, no big deal that the, that that piece is uh is looser. Okay, well there is this. Yeah, that's not great. Luckily, I have some extra Figma stands, so that's no big deal overall. But yeah, you know, would have been nice if they had thrown that into the uh, description that this was floppy. It wouldn't have done anything. It just would have been nice to to know about. But yeah, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the articulation. And there is the stand, and the stand is beautiful. Other than being loose and basically, I'm pretty sure it's like broken or something. All right, before we bring in size comparisons, we got to get his cloak on. So here is his cloak. This is going to complete the figure looking absolutely lovely. The two gems, right, the two gems right there. R beautiful. And then the nice green with the gold outline. I'm not seeing any paint, what up, uh, any paint scuffs whatsoever on this. The person took very good care of this piece, which is lovely, lovely to see. So let's just pop this on him. Let's pop off the head put this over the head, and then we just have to plug it into this peg hole right there. Beautiful, plugs right in. Oh yeah, look how much it, look at, look how better the figure looks now that he has that. Look at that, that just completes the look. Like you, 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 you could have literally showed this to everybody and be like, who the fuck is that? And then you put that on there like, oh, it's Kazuma from Konosuba. Absolutely beautiful. And these are on joints, so you can get some nice movement with them. Oh, look at that, that's actually really cool. Look at that. You can get it blowing in the wind. You can get it all, ooh, ooh, very nice, very nice absolutely exquisite right there okay so if you look here there's a little slit right here that you're supposed to tuck underneath there right there and then you do the same thing on this side so very cool very well thought out and it makes it look a lot more uniform with his outfit right there so there you go Ooh, does it, did it come unplugged nope it stays plugged in okay so there you go, very nice. A lot better than um than now Fumi's cape, in my opinion. I think it's a lot better. So yeah, looking absolutely phenomenal. There you have him with his uh, cloak on. Looks fantastic. And let's go ahead and bring in Aqua. Here we go. Here is my Figma Konosuba collection so far. Oh, how wonderful to finally add another character to the collection. That is so great. Like I said, the seller does have darkness as well, so if they still have it in a couple weeks, uh, I will grab it because, yeah, I want to get the whole gang, man. I want to get the whole gang. Now, I can bring these back and I can bring in the uh, Mega Mean Papa Parade right here. I mean, I, I, don't, I, I mean, I know they're not completely, they're completely out of scale with each other, but hey, it's still, it's still a Mega Mean figure right there, so... Yeah! <laughs> Still thought that counts, right? <laughs> Oh, how fantastic to finally have another member of the team. That is so awesome. So I need Darkness, I need Megamine, and they did make Union as well, and of course I want her as well. And hopefully they'll make Wiz. I would love for them to make Wiz as well. Wiz would be an awesome addition to the line as well. So yeah, I mean we do have Kona, we do have Kona Super Season 3 and the Megamine spinoff coming out this year, maybe this year, possibly next year. So hopefully they'll do some Figmas for some characters. I would love Wiz. Wiz would be so awesome, please. But yeah, looking fantastic, man. They look so good together! Yeah. <laughs>
And here he is with Rom and Megumi, just to give you some more Figma comparisons with a male and a female right here. So yeah, very lovely, don't worry, I'm gonna give you more comparisons. And here is Nezuko for another Figma comparison. Here is the SH Figure Arts Yuta Okotsu and the Amazing Yamaguchi Bakugo for some other uh, uh, figure comparisons right here. So SH Figure Arts and Amazing Yamaguchi. And now for the real one. And yet another reason why as soon as I saw this figure for such a good price, I had to jump on it. Here he is with all of my isekai protagonists so far. <laughs> Look at this! Look how glorious this is! Oh my god, this is so fucking amazing! Oh, we need a Subaru Figma so bad! We need one so bad! And I need a Hajime Nagumo from Ari Fureta. I don't care what anybody says. I love Ari Fureta, and I need him in this collection. Please give us a Hajime when Season 3 comes out. Oh my god, that would be so fucking awesome. But this is glorious. Like, look at this glorious, glorious picture. I'm not forgetting anybody, am I? I'm pretty sure I'm not forgetting anybody. I can kind of fudge one more in here. I can kind of fudge, um, I can kind of fudge Amelia in here. Amelia's not the protagonist of ReZero, but she's kind of like a second protagonist, sort of, kind of? I don't know, I just figured I would throw her in here as well, so... There we go! This is so glorious, man! I'm so happy about this! Oh! Oh, we need Ainz as well! We need Ainz as well from Overlord! Oh, will we ever get that? Probably not. Probably not. But <laughs> this is a glorious collection nonetheless, man! I'm in love! <laughs> All right, let's jump in to the uh, um, accessories. There's actually not that many accessories with this figure, but that is okay. Here are our alternate faces. These are both very, very good alternate faces because they are very Kazuma. I really like the screaming face right here, so we can just pop off the fringe as usual, except for Megami. Megami was different, but very cool, and we will give him the shouting face so he can shout at Aqua for being a useless goddess. So there we go. Up. Oh. And there we go. His hair is very smooth, except for these. These are very sharp. But yeah, they have it like that. Like, what? How is she a goddess? <laughs> that is absolutely adorable. Uh, well, yeah, it's, it's really funny. And then you have a very perverted looking Kazuma right there for when he is being uh, Kazuma. <laughs> but yeah, that uh, switch is obviously exactly the same as this one. The fringe does seem a little bit loose. Well, again, this was a pre-owned figure, so do keep that in mind. And right, and it's in very good condition. I'm very satisfied with my purchase. I, I don't feel any, any remorse whatsoever, especially for the price that I paid for this. Very, very happy with the purchase. So there we go. But the fringe is a little bit looser on there than I would like it to. Or maybe not. Maybe I just didn't have it clicked in all the way. But yeah, there you have him with the very perverted face right there because he's Kazuma. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and pop the regular one back on though. But there you have the alternate faces. And of course, being a Figma, we get the obligatory and the glorious sprue of hands. And this one is even bigger than usual. We get like a uh, gripping. <laughs> those are, uh, yeah, we know, we know, we know what those two hands are. We know what those two hands are. And then we have some splayed out hands right here, some more splayed out hands. Uh, yeah, these, uh, yeah, they get a lot of hands here. And then you get the uh, hand for his uh, create water effect right there, which we will talk about. And we get some gripping hands right there because they always come with gripping hands. And then out of the packaging, at least for me, I don't know if he comes with these normally. You have a fist and another gripping hand right there. So do you get, yeah, you get the other fist for the other side as well. So we probably had both of the fists on in the packaging normally, but hey, this is what I got. Got, and I am a hundred percent satisfied with this purchase. So there we go. Um, I'm actually gonna give. I'm actually gonna swap these out. So in order to switch the hands, obviously you just want to pop these off. And then I think these are like relaxed hands. So we'll go ahead and throw one of these on here. There we go. Switches out beautifully. I love, love, love Figma. And then for this hand, I'm gonna give him a gripping hand. And you know why we're giving him a gripping hand. We'll we'll look at the. Obviously we're gonna look at the the water effect as well. Don't worry. But I want to give him a gripping hand for the next accessory. <laughs> there we go. And now it is time, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody, bow your heads for the almighty. Chun Chun Maru! <laughs> Henceforth, it is now Chun Chun Maru. <laughs> oh my god, they did such a great job with Chun Chun Maru. Look at that, look how well they scoped. They like, they literally like, they were, as they were painting this, they were like, Chun Chun Maru has to be absolutely perfectly painted. If it is not perfectly painted, we are docking your pay by half. <laughs>
<laughs> Look at it, man. It's glorious. The gold picked out beautifully. The silver is just exquisite. Oh my god, they crushed it. And this is the first time I have ever seen this with a Figma. And I am so, so psyched about it. It's really cool that they include the swords with the characters that, that need swords. And they give them the sheaths. But they always just make it to where you just pop the hilt off of the sheath in order to make it look like it's been unsheathed. Which works, but it's not as fun as just sheathing the sword. And with Kazuma, the sheath to Chun Chun Maru is an actual functioning sheath that you can just take Chun Chun Maru, Chun Chun Maru and you can just slide it into the sheath. Hang on. Okay, there we go. So it does swivel, so you can swivel it. And then you can just take Chun Chun Maru. Oh my god, Figma, please bring this back. It's a lost art. I want it back. Seriously, I want this back. I really hope Eris has this same thing. The the Eris Figma from Mashoka Tensei that's coming out. I really hope her sword works like this, man. I really, really, really hope so. So there you go. You have Chun Chun Maru sheathed on the back right there, which just looks absolutely fucking perfect. That that is amazing. That is God tier. Oh my god, I love it so much. You can just slop it right out, slip it right right back in oh my god how absolutely immaculate how oh, oh it's stuck now <laughs> there we go so absolutely immaculate just a phenomenal thing i love this so much please bring it back figma please tell me eris works like that i will be so damn psyched but yeah you have chun chun maru sheath back there but let's go ahead and put it in his hand as well because it is the one and only chun chun maru so we will just pop that out and pop that in his hand there we go there he has Chun Chun Maru in his hand so he can go carve up some giant toads or uh, other things. <laughs> Very awesome. Wow, this thing was awesome, guys. Absolutely awesome. Maybe not worth those aftermarket prices, but oh, what a fantastic Figma. And we're not even done. Let's go ahead and try out the create water effect. So we give him this hand right here. We're just going to pop this on to this hand. Oh, maybe that's why he had the other hand on. Okay, whatever. We'll just pop that on. Oh, yeah. Is it? Is it this one? Is it? Oh, it is this one. Oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> very, very dumb. Very dumb. Don't pay any attention to me. All right, so I switched out the hand, got him all ready to go here. And this is the water effect included right here. And this should just plug right into the hand right here. And there you go. You can have him creating water. So you can recreate the fight with Verdia or whatever. Or you could just have soaking aqua. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. That is so great. Wow, very, very cool, very well done. I'm a big fan. Yeah, it looks excellent. I won't be displaying him like this, but it's a great, great uh, display option nonetheless. Very nice. All right, for this last accessory, I had to pop on the perf face because the last accessory is Mega Means panties. Yeah. <laughs> and you can put it in his hand just like that. Uh, 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 um, maybe. Okay, whatever. You, you can, there's a pair of hands you can put this in. I will absolutely never be displaying him with this accessory because it's just kind of, I don't know, man. I mean, I'm not going to shame anybody here, but I personally never really found the panty stealing scene all that funny. Like, it was kind of funny with Chris, but when he does it with Megamine as well, on accident, but when he does it on Megamine as well, I don't know, I, I felt like it was a little bit gratuitous and didn't really, it wasn't all that funny in my opinion, I don't know, might be a hot take, I'm sure, I think a lot of people really liked it, but yeah, you have him with Megamine's panties right there, I mean, it doesn't have to be Megamine's panties, you can just think of it as anybody's panties, but I mean, it, it's, um, yeah, okay, you get that, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that is it for all the accessories, of course, being a Figma, we, of course, get the Figma bag for you to put all of his, all of his accessories into. And, of course, you get the extra wrist peg should anything happen to one of the ones that you have on. As always, Figma, very much appreciated. Now, jumping into the final thoughts on the Figma Kazuma. Oh, what a bittersweet final thoughts this is going to be because this Figma is so unbelievably expensive on the aftermarket. The aftermarket prices on all of these Konosuba Figmas has just gone through the roof. It's absolutely absurd what people are asking for with them right now, and it's a really damn shame because this is just like Aqua. This is a fan-fucking-tastic Figma. I love, 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 love this Figma. Absolutely just exquisite. Pretty much no 
nothing to complain about whatsoever. There are a tiny, the, the accessories are low, like the, the accessory count is low, but honestly, they're all really great. Like Chun Chun Maru is God tier. I don't even think I need to be, that even needs to be said. The faces they chose were great. Maybe one more would have been nice, but this one is just great. You can just keep this one on him for all, for all eternity and it looks fantastic. The uh, face, the uh, alternate um, hands are also fantastic. Everything they did with the cloak is fantastic. The the way that they sculpted this piece, how it like goes under there and you have all the joints to move and it just stays on perfectly. It doesn't, it's not like, it's nowhere near as bad as now Fumi's cape. Excellent. Absolutely exquisite. Honestly, I give the thing that S tier. It's fantastic. Unfortunately for the prices that this thing is going for now, I cannot say that it is S tier. It is not worth those prices. But if you can get it for a good price, if you can get it for, we'll say like 50, 60 bucks less than those standard aftermarket prices, I say go for it. What a fantastic Figma, especially if you're a fan of Konosuba and you have the others. Oh, I can't wait to get the rest of them, man. Absolutely fantastic. I don't really have any real complaints with the Figma. It's exquisite. Really, really fantastic. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe give me a like and subscribe for some more Figma reviews in the future. If you did, also 100%, please, please, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. It really helps get my channel out there and it helps me and it helps motivate me to put more work into my videos and to make more videos for you guys. So please, if you enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe for more Figma reviews. And with that being said, this is DK Guillotine, uh, signing out.